Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this white cuff bugle beads bracelet. It's easy to make and uh, if you remember I have a matching earrings tutorial that I'll also link here at the eye icon to see so you could make yourself a beautiful set. I'm showing step by step really easy and I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done like the earrings tutorial that I mentioned. I post two times a week so you will be inspired often. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop my channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. And you could also check my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips. So now guys I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 0 seed beads and here I use bugle beads. They are seven millimeters again in two colors. This is a toggle clasp. You could use regular clasp of any type you like and these are two jump rings. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use file line for the bugle beads because sometimes they could cut through the thread. So it's a good idea also to use a file line for this project. Here this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers to attach my jump rings and my clasp to my work. Okay, so now I'm going to take four feet of thread on my needle, which is 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm starting by picking up one creamy bugle bead and two blue bugle beads. So one of my first color and two of my second color. Okay, this is what I have and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making it by making a loop and going twice or even three times through this loop I've made and I pull. And after that I'd like to make one more knot to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, so I have this beautiful triangle and I will continue. Now I'm going through this blue one and this will be the center of my work. So now I'm going to take one blue and one creamy bugle bead. And as I'm exiting from this blue one, I'm going back in circle through the same blue, just like that. Okay. And now I have this. Now I'm going through this blue one, taking a creamy one and another blue. Okay, and I'm going back like this. Why now I start with creamy? Because I want here at the outside edge of my work to have creamy beads. And here at the inside, I want blue beads. Okay, so now I'm exiting out of this blue one. And now I will take again a blue and a creamy. First a blue then a creamy bugle bead and I'm going back in circle through this one here and I'm going again through the blue one and now what I want to take is a creamy one and a blue one and I go back just like this okay I have this and I go through this creamy Okay guys, and what I do at my last step is to add only one bead because the other two of the triangles that I'm forming everywhere are already there. These two blue beads form my first and my last element of my work. Okay, and I take one 
creamy bit and I go back just like this. Now what I have is this and I want to exit here at the edge and through this one here guys. Okay. Now in my next step I'm taking one 11 ohm seed bead and I'm going through the following bugle bead. Then I take one bugle and I go back in circle through this one here, just like this. Then again one 11 ohm, go through this one that's on my way, take the second bugle color and I go back like this here. Okay, then again one, go here through this one, take one bugle, go back and continue these guys three more times. I'll do it off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay guys and I'm here where I'm adding my last bugle bead from this row. If you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video and you will see. Now what I want to do is go through the bugle bead that I just added and now guys uh, what I do is that I flip my work because I feel it's easier for me to go in this direction as I'm right handed. It's not obligatory you could work in the other direction. Okay I take three go through the bugle, three more, go here, then again three and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys and now what I want to do is add the center of my work and how I'm making it I'm going through this bugle then through the one here in the center then I take just one white bead and I go through this bugle okay then guys what I want to do is go through the following bugle and then exit here through this one. Okay, now I have this. Okay guys, and now my thread is exiting out of this bugle and what I want to do is go through the first white bead here and I want to add three of these beautiful chameleon beads. Okay, I skip the next white that's on my way, you see. I skip this one and I go through the following and you could also go through the next bugle okay so now this is what I have I'm going through this white skipping the center and then through this one okay then I go through the first white bead okay here is my thread if you don't see it I take three of those and I go here through this one. Then in one movement you could go also through the bugle and through the first white bead. Okay, then I take three, I skip the central one and I do this. Okay, now I will continue three more times. Okay, now I have this. Okay guys, and now what I want to do is make a loop of beads where later I will attach my clasp. Okay, so now in order to do this I'm taking 8 seed beads. Okay, here 
I have my eight and I'm going back through this bugle beat one more time. Okay, because this is the first element of my bracelet, here I will make a loop to attach my clasp. Okay guys, and you could go reinforcing this part several times, let's say two or three times, and when you're ready, what you could do is go through some beads and make a knot. Okay, let's go through these white beads and make a knot here. And how I'm making it, I'm making a loop between those two beads where my thread is. Then I go once and I go second time through the loop I've made and I pull and then I could repeat this knot several more times and when I'm ready I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread as close as possible to my work, okay? So now I have this, my first element of my bracelet. Now guys, off camera I will make the same element but I won't cut my thread and I won't make this loop here. Imagine you're making it up to here without cutting your thread. Okay, I'll, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back, back. If you can't do this, just rewind the video and uh, make the steps one more time. Okay, and as I told you guys, off camera I made the same element that I have here. I hope you were able to make it by rewinding or remembering the steps. Okay, so now I'm exiting out of this bead here at the top. I repositioned my thread to exit there after I did this element. And now I'm going to take one white bead and I'm going back here through this one, just like this. Then I take one more white bead and then I go here through this one. Okay. So I make a loop of beads with two whites, okay, to connect those two beads at the edge, darker beads at the edge, okay. So now I reinforce it, let's say twice, you could do more if you want. And now I want to reach this part here. Okay, and I'm exiting here and what I want to do next is take one white bead, go back in circle like this, then take one more white, go here and pull. Then I will do two more reinforcements. And here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going once, then going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go through this bugle bead and through the following few beads. I could repeat this knot several more times and when I'm ready with the last one, go through one or several beads and cut my thread. Okay guys, and now the second element of my bracelet is ready and I will make four of those elements connecting them the same way I showed you. If you don't remember something, uh, rewind the video, watch it again and do this. Okay guys, and when I continue beading the same way, this is what I have. 
I make an element, don't cut my thread, connect it through the previous one, and so on and so on. And now I have six elements, you could do five or seven, depending on the wrist you're doing it for. Now I'm going to show you this one with six. Okay, so now I just connected this part here. And what I want to do is exit out of this side of my work and make a loop for my clasp. Okay guys, so now I'm exiting out of this bugle bead here and I'm going to take eight of these beautiful chameleon beads. Okay, I have my eight here and I'm going back in circle through this bugle bead. Okay, so um, now I will reinforce it. I will make a knot and I'll be back to show you how to attach your clasp. Okay guys, and after reinforcement and a knot, it's time to show you how to add your clasp. And it's really easy. I'm taking the jump ring. I'm open this, opening this up. I put it here. I put on my clasp. And I squeeze back in the same direction. Okay. So now I have this and I'll do this from the other side and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now both sides of my bracelet are ready. I attach this part of my toggle clasp the same way as this one. I guess it was easy to make and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And don't forget that uh, I have earring tutorial waiting for you to make it as well, if you still haven't. And if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in the description, you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my Bugle Beats playlist and other bugle beads tutorial in description and you could check my second channel bijuteo fast clips link in description thank you so much for watching bye bye from me